Hi guys, Colsey, and again, I want to talk to you about Touch Portal. I have another little how to update to do with you, and also uh, the creators of Touch Portal have been in touch with me and they've given me a bunch of codes to give away to you guys if you want to grab yourself the full premium package. Anyway, right, first of all, the tutorial. So, last time I mentioned about how to sort of connect the Touch Portal from the app to the PC so that you can control it. Um, I didn't actually explain how to connect that to OBS. Uh, it does involve a couple more steps, which I'm gonna show you now. So you'll be able to connect your phone and use your touch portal to control your OBS on your PC. Very simple. So you're gonna have OBS. I have OBS running. Let me just drag it over so you can see it. So it's my OBS running right now. Obviously it's recording my screen at the minute, but this is my OBS running and you have your scenes and your sources and all that. So you're gonna to wanna to be able to connect it, uh, to connect your touch portal to your OBS so that you can control your scenes and recording and stuff uh, using that. So it's very simple to do. So if we go to the touch portal website and go to the FAQ, I will put a link actually in the description where you can, you know, you can get to this link easier than having to do it through this. But I'm gonna show you in case, you know, in future they update it and you need to download a new updated version. So if you go to the uh, frequently asked questions, go down to get started with OBS Studio and you need to install the OBS WebSocket plugin. Like I said, I will put that in the description. So if you have OBS Studio above version 22, you want this link and if you have below version 22 you want this link. I recommend that you update it to the newest one anyway, but you might have a reason that you don't want to do that. So it, you have these options. So personally, I am on 22.0.2. Uh, I believe that is the most recent one. So that's above version 22. So I'm going to want this one. I will put both these links, as I said, in the description so you can get to them. So you come to this page, right? Now on this page, what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to download, probably you're going to want to download the installer, the .exe. So you download this, you save it, and then you run it. That's pretty much it. You run it and it should install uh, a few little things in the correct places that it needs to be to be able to access your OBS. So if you download it, which I did, so uh, I actually have the 4.4 version and the 4.5 version. So if you download it, you should be, just be able to double click this, uh, go through the steps and it will it will install it takes about like 30 seconds it doesn't take long at all if that goes completely fine everything should be working and then what you should be able to do is if you want to run touch portal and obs you have to make sure you open obs first then open touch portal and then you should be able to link them to and it should work perfectly fine now it should work that way personally it didn't for me i had to go and do a little extra step so i'm going to show you guys that just in case that initial thing doesn't work for you and you have to do like i did uh, it doesn't really take any extra, but I'm going to show you anyway. So, so I tried to do the installer and that didn't work. Uh, I still wasn't able to access OBS. So what I did next was I downloaded the Windows Zip. Um, and actually, if you come down here to the install instructions, it tells you here how to install it anyway. But uh, I had to. I tried using the installer. That didn't work for me. Um, so then I had to use the uh, Zip archive. So all you do is you download the Zip, which again I already have. So I downloaded the zip here and then unzipped it just to here and it has these two folders in it. Now you're going to want to copy these and then you're going to want to find where your OBS, your OBS, your OBS studio is installed on the PC. Now normally that will be, uh, let me see, now normally that will be sort of in your, in your like normal main drive, your C drive. Uh, I think it's normally called a C drive. So it'll be in there and it'll be in program files and then OBS or OBS Studio, whichever one you're looking for. And then you just want to paste them here. So if you paste them here, it will replace these. You want to say, yep, replace those, that's fine. And then once you've done that, that should work completely fine. So I believe that's what the installer is supposed to do, but for some reason, I don't know whether it's the way I manage my files on my PC or what, uh, that didn't work for me. Uh, the installer, it didn't automatically do it. So I just had to manually copy those files and folders uh, from the zip to the installation folder. So then you wanna make sure you have your OBS closed and stuff, then you wanna reopen it. Open your OBS first before you open Touch Portal because it needs to be able to link and just to do that you have to open the OBS first. So open your OBS and then open your Touch Portal and then after you've done that, that should all be working then. That works perfectly fine for me and I'm, I'm just gonna show you how, how it works. So, 
So if I, I have my touch portal open. Also, I want to say a big thank you to the guys at touch portal. They sent me a bunch of like ready-made pages for like Photoshop and Premiere Pro and OBS. These are just like, I guess like their versions. Uh, that one's not, I made that one, but uh, it's just their versions of the pages so that I had something to use. So um, again, thank you for that. So I'm currently recording my screen and I can stop recording, which I don't want to do because then you won't be able to see it. So to prove that it works, I'm recording the screen on my phone and if I click like scene two, it changes to the picture of the bear that I've put on scene two. I can go back to scene one. I can turn the display capture off. Now you can't see anything, I can turn it back on. I can turn game capture on or off, which it does nothing at the minute because I'm not recording any game. But yeah, so pretty much you can say it's a change scenes, uh, change sources, like uh, the game capture and the display capture of different sources. And I, but there are more options that you can add. These are just the ones I have currently, just to show off that it is working from my phone and I can change the scenes and I can enable them and I can change stuff and fiddle around with it and do all that via my phone. So it is all working, OBS is happily connected. That was the update, I just wanted to do another quick tutorial on how to set that up because that is an extra couple steps that you do need to do if you want to link it to your OBS. Now, like I said, I have been in touch with the people from Touch Portal. They contacted me after they watched my initial video and uh, they hooked me up with a bunch of codes. So the premium version, what does it give you? Uh, just gives you un unlimited pages and custom grids so you can change them a bit more. Um, it's 9 dollars it's not a lot of money, especially supporting uh, these guys who are doing something so cool like this. Uh, they really are putting a lot of work into it. They have a lot of updates coming and a lot of things that they're working on, so I'm excited for it. It's actually, it's actually looking really, really good. Anyway, I have four codes to give away, so if you guys wanna, wanna get one of those codes, then just leave a comment, subscribe, like, uh, you know, go share the other videos, share this video, um, and I'll pick one of you guys at random, uh, well, four of you guys at random, and I'll give you each code for the full version so you can just activate that on your app store the guys over at touchball have just asked me to mention a couple things that they're working on so i did say that i would i would mention uh i would talk about it a bit more so this is talking about updates that they're doing so currently it's working with obs obs studio and Stream Elements OBS Live uh, so Streamlabs OBS which is normally what i use for streaming it's currently not working for that but they are uh, busy making it work, trying to make it work for that. Uh, also, this month they're going to be releasing um, integration for XSplit, which apparently currently they're testing and they have working pretty good. So it's going to be coming to XSplit soon, also, which is awesome. Um, they're also looking at possibly a chance of releasing OBS integration for Mac users, which apparently not a lot of other similar um, macro deck people, apps, etc., do. So that'd be pretty cool. They're working really hard. Uh, they seem like nice guys. Um, they contacted me and were just saying thank you for me making the video and giving me some codes to give to you guys. They seem very down to earth and they seem very committed about uh, what they're creating and uh, listening to the community. So if you have any suggestions, then please do let them know. They, they're happy to hear from you and, and your suggestions and what you wanna see coming from Touchball next. I think it's a really, really invaluable service, really. It's awesome. It's a great alternative to buying a stream deck and I highly recommend you check it out. Hopefully these tutorials that I've done have been useful to you guys setting it up and it has helped. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, if you haven't already checked out Touchpool, highly recommend you do it. I'll put a link in the description to Touchpool. There'll also be links to the um, the things you need to download to be able to integrate with OBS. So go check those out. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful. Hopefully now maybe you've heard of Touch Portal and you hadn't heard before, but yeah, go check them out. It's really useful for streaming, for being productive, for using what while just during your workflow and being able to use hotkeys and things. So highly recommend it. Thank you guys. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>